Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Halo World Championship 2023. Golden Boy here alongside Walshie as we get ready for Rebellion versus Sentinels. And I'm excited for this game because I want to see this is a test for Sentinels. Because, uh, well, actually, I should correct myself. It's they're, a test for beat, both teams. Yeah, so, like they eat through that last test by just barely not failing. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like yeah, we're looking true. at a uh, passing grade. They somehow eked out the Street Slayer against Native White. But yeah, as we're looking into this one off the bat, Shopify Rebellion getting a few points on the board here against Sentinels. But like you said, they, they're almost, it's almost like a dead man walking here. They were dead to rights in that last year's against Native White. They were down by seven or 10 kills in game five Slayer. We all yeah, thought yeah. that Sentinels were going to lose and they have a second chance at life here and they're not gonna take it for granted. And they're, they're being tested once again. Yeah, here but, against Chopped by Rebellion. But you know what, though, Dave? What is very exciting about this game is that it, it's a Rebellion squad that, if anything, I feel like this is like a, almost like a gatekeeping match here for Sentinels because Sentinels have always been, you know, as since this team has come together, these players have kind of been floating in that top five for a little while, whereas Rebellion's been outside of it. If Rebellion get a win here, this could be huge for their, uh, you know, like motivation in this tournament, wouldn't you say? Yeah. I mean, Rebellion has had like some, a little bit of rubber bandy results, but overall they've been placing you know, as, as they get close to like that top six area. Um, so we're gonna have to see how this one pans out. I mean, basically the winner of this goes on to top six, if I'm not correct. Yeah. Loser is seventh slash eighth. Which is about where both of these teams have, you know, I think Shopify Rebellion averages around like 7.3 or something like that for placements. And then Sentinels, I want to say it was like five something. So really this is a, a, a battle between two teams that pretty much sit right next to each other in the hierarchy of competitive Halo. And as it stands right now, Shopify Rebellion have come out all swinging as they have managed to lock in about 38 points here on the board. Yeah, as I'm looking at Rebellion's placings, it's kind of had like almost like a, a bell curve. It's yeah. like they start off strong, placing top six a couple times in a row, then they went top 12, top eight, top six. So they're kind of in the upswing at the end of this season. Are they going to end around the top six area or they can can they go the distance? And it's first gonna be decided here against Sentinels. That is the question on our minds. We'll see though how this works out. Both squads hungry for this win. We've already seen teams start to go home. We're seeing a, also another great match happening on the main stage right now. If you want to go and check that out too, keep two streams open. Why not? So many, so many great Halo games going on today. It's like we're uh, constantly just being treated here. And as it stands, Shopify Rebellion, they have dominated the opening start of this game. 48 points they've been able to accrue. Ooh. And if anything, it's just going to put Sentinels in a little bit more of a, I would say, kind of, Put, put some more effort into it here, right? They're, they're, you could tell that they're like, okay, it's time to really start fragging here. And if not, we're, we're going to be pretty much out of luck in a little bit. And that is why you're seeing a bit more uh, priority here being put. But Lethal's getting hounded down. And he ends up getting shut out of that as well as Falcated. So just as I thought the Sentinels were going to try and maybe, you know, answer with a little bit more force, there's Rebellion to just put them right in their place. Yeah, and just a couple melees and kills traded out there. And Sentinel's going to have to start a brand new push from Tram. Cycle going for a flank here. This could go really good or really bad. Cycle could be the, the first death here or could be the dagger and stagger these kills. It looks like Cycle trades one out. Rain, rain also well. falling. I think that is certainly going to be a bit of an issue for them, but they're going to need to recover out of this one. Yeah, and it looks like Shopify have to stop the ball time after that. They realize they lost too much firepower on the map. Instead, have to go back into slaying mode where they've been very successful so far throughout this. Yeah, they have been. Their slaying has been very impressive this tournament. Uh, you know, you can really credit that to players like Mental, who even though he hasn't been ha having a, a big game here at the start of it, I would not be shocked if, uh, you know, he starts to pop off maybe the midpoint or even in game two, three, wherever this goes, right? And then you obviously have veterans like Rain and not Ryan Dude to just back up this uh, Shopify lineup. And Rain, of course, a fantastic BR in his own right. So I think overall, you know, you got to be feeling pretty good if you're the Rebellion here, Dave. Yeah, Rebellion looking solid. And this is kind of the start you want. It's fine to, like, Get your groove, go out and slay, just show that your team is uh -oh. in a stronger spot. And Mental just picking up kill after kill as they're all focused on trying to finish off Ryan there. Rain scrapping up these last 18 seconds of time. Sentinels have one last push here to make them drop the ball or get the kills. And looks like Rain's gonna opt to hold on to this and start to rotate. 
He decides to drop it. He realizes he's the only one alive. He can no longer get a play ball here. So he's going to have to do as much damage and stay alive as long as possible. Yeah, he's waiting for this one. To see how this is going to work out, though. Rain manages to get away. And it seems as if with that play unfolding, Rebellion certainly were in a bit of a pickle there, losing two players as soon as that push happened. Yeah, keep in mind that Shopify technically could have played, could, technically could have played balled this one. True. Um, we're going to see if it comes back to bite him. But to be fair, too, if you're the last one alive, tossing out a play ball at the front really doesn't matter anyways. You're gonna They're going to grab that and we'll bring it right back in tram if that's where they want the ball. Ryan Noob scooping it up from Dumpster. Snagging up these last five seconds. I don't think, unless they can bank two nades, that's going to be it. Ryan who grabs the last couple seconds of time and wins round number one there for Shot by Rebellion. However, before we get into round two, we're going to go to a quick little break. I think there's been a small technical issue for some of the players on the side station. We'll get a ruling from TO and let you know what's happening. Catch you soon. All right, everyone, welcome back. And so we want to give everyone an update on what took, what transpired during that break. Uh, there was an issue uh, with the, I think it was a Spartan couldn't see the ball or something to that effect. It was a glitch, essentially. Uh, and then we are going to restart this game and uh, make this, you know, it, it's unfortunate, but that is the reality. We want to make sure everyone's playing at 100%. Yep, technical issue, full reset, and Shopify Rebellion grabbing this ball right off the start. Getting a 17 point lead here in Tram. And Rain realizing the push is coming in. And what is he going to do to stop it? Yeah, and honestly, if you're if you're Rain and you know the, the rest of Shopify, you, you have to have a little bit of a chip on your shoulder with this one, right? Uh, but it is important to note that Shopify has an opportunity here to really come out swinging and and really just just establish themselves as like, hey, we deserve to win this game. The ball never lies to the same basketball, you know? Yes. They are going to do everything they can here. It looks like Sentinels have the ball back in tram. This has happened a couple different times where they have the ball over in tram for Shopify and they're not able to really get an effective play ball out. Look at the leadership of Lethal though here for Sentinels rotating over towards driveway. A lot of times that is the correct rotation if you're not going to collapse in too hard where you can have your team either clear the way over towards B Street or if you don't have B Street side, you can just toss it down the stairs or out in the center and continue to hold tram. Yeah, and it's right there at the uh, garbage dump. We do want to let everyone know your ears do not deceive you. We know that there is a desync issue with the audio. It will be addressed in the next game, unfortunately, so just bear with us for the time being. Uh, do not adjust your headset. <laughs> do not change your settings on your and computer. And just to be clear, it's the in-game audio. All the late call-outs you're hearing from Golden Boy, those are still, those are still unfortunately hit. The, yeah. I, I, and I That's can't unfortunately do, you can't fix. And I can't do anything about that, Dave. You know, <laughs> I, I am only human. Well, let's go ahead and recalibrate for this one. Rockets are going to be up. Rebellion have. Ooh, Ooh, a slight oh, misgrab. Oh, oh. That unfortunately could cause a problem, but they do get those rockets. There is going to be two players over toward the palm tree area here. Mental tries to go past the grenade, but never mind. Did they even get that? I don't know what happened to those rockets. We're about to find out here soon. Cycle doing his best in the back of Tram, and that's going to be a ball setup here for Shopify Rebellion over they Tram. I believe it. those are rockets right in those hands too. Wow, that is pretty wild. That yep. like little subtle error of like not being able to grab that the the rockets in mid may have cost Rebellion here. But either way, though, I think it'll be perfectly fine. They'll try and stabilize out of this one. You got to really in those situations, it sucks, but you just got to move on, you know? Absolutely. I mean, a couple of, that's that's honestly how Halo goes. You have to look at things in a macro uh, view where there's going to be certain unfortunate things or certain lucky things that happen for or against you. Yeah. And they all lump together and they all work out in the long run. However, in the short run, sometimes they're tough to shake off. Yeah, it is. And, and it's a mental thing, right? Because... You think, oh, hey, I have this. I locked this down. I mean, we're even seeing that right now going on in the main stage here where I'm quite curious. That 45-44 win that uh, Optic had over FaZe maybe, you know, can set the motions for them to kind of get in their heads, right? It's very easy to feel. And, and I think it's, it's important to know here as we have an actual reset of this game where, yeah, it, it has to feel like a little frustrating for the Rebellion to try and get this win again. And, you know, Sentinels are going to take this second opportunity to really use it to the, its fullest potential. And look at this, Lethal scrapping him more time, knowing all these players are pushing up the stairs. And he's got the damage, he's got the fight, trades it out. But who can pick up the ball? 
located over in the center of the map, trying to stop for these rockets. Not going to be successful. Has to fight a different day, but he gets some support from his man, Boo Boo Doo Boo. Throwing a grenade all the way across the map from the dumpster. Indeed he does, and the Bulldog's going to bark his way to a kill for him. 32-38, ball's going to be available in the balcony here right by Red Gun. And, yeah, Falcate is just going to hold this one down. There's really nowhere. No, At this point now, you're just waiting on Rebellion to see what the push is going to be on their side. I'm curious if we could maybe go over to one of their perspectives because I want to see how they're going to try and approach this because they have to break through this. Yeah, Rain obviously pushing through. They're almost ignoring that player over towards B Street and Arcade and making the push. Look at Ryan. Spartan gets two kills. Ryan Noob gets the slay from behind, but Falcade and the shotgun going to put a stop to that. That's going to be Sentinels. Scrapping up more time with this tram setup. Lethal not wasting any time. All right, so that was, back over to help. that was plan A. What's plan <laughs> B? Let's see what plan B is because plan A was Ryan Noob gets in the back, maybe cause some problems. We try and hit him at the front. You know, ipso facto, we get what yeah. we need. Didn't work out. Plan B is get a pick or so and then push in as a collective unit instead of a scrappy push and Falcated and the, Ooh. oh my God, stalker rifle Falcated. Did too much damage there, and that's going to end that push. One final push opportunity here for Mental and Shopify Rebellion for this round number one. Boo Boo actually rotating this out towards B Street a little, or sorry, towards Neons. A little unexpected, unexpected but it is working. They had the clearing. They must have known everyone's coming towards Five B points. side, and what a heads-up play from Boo Boo and Sentinels. They're closing this out, 98, 99, 100. Wow. That was a brilliant rotation there because I would have thought that he would have gotten at least sussed out on uh, on B Street when he was on the cross when he was coming from Tram to B to Neon, but he flew through that and then managed to get over to his teammate. Very smart play there. We're going to reset now for this next round as Ryan Noob tries to get right in the face of Jesus, Sentinels. Boo -boo. And he's putting in a lot of shots, but not enough though because Sentinels managed to get Critical kills, and Boo Boo Doo Boo's on a tear right now, man. Yeah, Boo Boo is, I'm just seeing his name popping up for all these sort of kills on the, the kill feed. He has all the weapons as well. I wonder how he wants to play this with Rocket and Bulldog. Quite an obscure combo, but it looks like he's just waiting for someone around this corner. Does spot a couple oh. players, shoots him in the back. That's going to be two dead, one extremely weak. Doesn't make the jump instead. Decides just to stay towards the bottom of the tram and is gonna flank. And what weapon does he have in his hands, Golden Boy? He has a repulsor. I'm kidding. He's got the <laughs> destructor, personal favorite of mine. Uh, and you know uh, something that uh, Clutch had said at the beginning when we were watching. Uh, Jump on top of the tree. I, I never see anyone that. going off the top of the tree like that. I did not I know, you know you could do you that could do back that. in like. Halo 2, I remember going top of the palm trees in like Ivory Tower, but I have not seen that yet here. I didn't know you can clamber on that tree. <laughs> that That is new to me. But in any case, though, look at this deadly game of Ring Around the Rosie. Yeah, That's going to be the killing spree for Boo Boo Doo Boo. But just something to note here. Clutch was talking about it at the start when he was watching Sentinels earlier on. and saying he's just waiting for Boo Boo Doo Boo to go back to that form. You know, when he was on Envy, like what he accomplished. Even like, you know, the, the, the moments he era. had on phase yeah. G1 era as well. I think a lot of people are like, oh, when, when is that Boo Boo Doo Boo? coming back. I think we're seeing that Boo Boo Doo Boo come back right now. And if he does, if he gets that confidence, watch out. Because it, it's very hard to stop this team. Yeah, I mean, people hot. were giving some call outs on, uh, you know, his, his stats. Maybe he was putting up last event saying, hey, he's not really being the slayer that they were expecting. But right here is we're looking out in this game. Number one, he has most kills, least deaths, pretty much the most time. Oh, and Rhino gets out of there with the shroud screen. That was huge. It looked like he was going to be in a real bad spot. I like his patience. A lot yeah. of times, as soon as people get that shield back, they would be instantly jumping up on those stairs. I like his uh, his vision there, trying to look up towards be real. Unfortunately, he gets tr you know tracked down, taken out, and just seems like Shopify are a bit disorganized, Very disorganized and able to bounce, unable to bounce back after this reset. They could be a, a bit discouraged. Who knows? But they have no room. For any mental games right here, right now, they yeah. have to bounce back and play and win here because their tournament Ooh. life is at stake. You got to play the game, plain and simple. You can't worry about anything else that happens around it. All that matters are the four people that you got to try and take out and get the better of. Rain. Rain accidentally shooting that spike grenade in front of him as he's pushing towards Bomb Tram. Now going in this fight with lower shield so than he'd weak. like. 
And that also sets up his teammate in a bad spot as well because now Mental gets picked off, and it's just a snowball effect that just occurs right there. Very unfortunate circumstances, but that's just the way the cookie crumbles from time to time. Lethal now trying to take this ball to the other side. They're about to hit 70 points, which they just accomplished, and this is looking solid here for Sen. Yeah, and they're going to clear that out. However, Ryan Hoop trades out with two players. This should hopefully be the opening Shopify has. Looks like Mental's looking for any reinforcements. You kind of have two options there. One is you go protect your ball carrier right away. But if they know that most of their players are down, you try to catch a straggler. See if you can catch someone off guard in a one on one. Those are times where your almost teamwork is just having awareness across the map where are these players spawning, where you can pick off somebody and give your team a better overall advantage. You almost have to make it like a like a 4D map in your brain of like where <laughs> things are going to be. Like that's how you have to play Halo. You have to think about everything on a 4D plane. <laughs> it's insane, man. How much, how many things these players have to account for time and time again. But as we focus though, as we get closer to that tail end of this one, remember Sentinels up by one round already. So this. If this ends right here, that's it. GG for Sen. They get themselves the Rockets. They have the Look ball, at this and it's the rotation same rotation again. again. Same rotation. They notice any time that B gets overpowered there Ooh. by Shopify. They rotate it over towards Neon and Cafe, and why not? Back again. If they so try to good. go from B over to PD, Lethal just racking up the kills. Two dead, three dead. The wow. time is up, and that's going to be Sentinels taking game number one, 2-0 on oddball streets. That was, simply put, clean oddball gameplay. Uh, Sentinels did practically everything right. Those rotations in the late game uh, certainly were not something that I, I don't think that Shopify were prepared to deal with uh, because they had put so many resources into those uh, tram fights that as soon as he just gets out of there, you're asking for another 10 points that you're going to be able to accrue. That was just so meticulously done. Yeah, incredibly well done there by Sentinels, getting a much needed game number one win here, going into this elimination bracket round number two. That's right. That's gonna be it for me and GB for here for game one. We'll be back shortly with game number two between these two squads. All right, folks, we're back as we get ready for game number two. We're here on recharge. We got ourselves some Slayer. Everyone loves this stuff, and we'll see now how Rebellion are going to respond after Sentinels honestly just dominated in, in game one with one of the more cleaner strategies on Oddball that we've seen on streets in quite some time. Yeah, Sentinels clearly were in the driver's seat pretty much every single moment of that yeah. reset. It just felt like they were getting all the slays, they were doing everything right, but recharge, a time for either team to take off here. This is two kill difference, really no big difference. I don't know who has shock rifle, who has better position. Looks like Reigns getting a pick onto Spartan, and then he eventually gets taken off, and all those trades kind of going back and forth. Yeah, there are a lot of like individual battles happening all around the map currently. Trying to use the green gun to get the melee off on there. That fast fire rate with Falcated's hands certainly put to good use there. Now Mental, as we jump over to his POV, his teammate was having to deal with one of the members of Sentinel Spartan over toward Tower, but We'll actually get control of this one now. They're going to look around, see where this push is going to be coming from. One over toward Bats, one on Bat Ledge. Boo Boo Doo was charging over on the left side. He ended up paying for that one with his life. But there is going to be some pressure, though, coming from Lethal, who manages to find himself a big kill, but will get wiped out. Yeah, just traded back and forth almost any single time. Pay attention to that kill feed. Almost any time you see a kill from one player on the bottom left, you'll see that player die within a second or two afterwards. That's how fast and how coordinated these teams are. They're fighting together, they know where the battles are happening, and they are punishing anytime one of the teammates are taken down. Lethal went down to check to see if anyone's gonna be over toward the catwalk. Ooh. Ended up finding a few members there, and Cycle went in for the push. Boo Boo Doo Boo gets his first kill, but look at those assists from him, man. He's got five assists. He's putting in so much work around the map for his team, and that will add a little bit more to this lead now. It's gonna be a whole round of slays. Four kills, the advantage, Sentinels. And that's also not just the four kill lead, also the camo acquisition here from Lethal. Let's see what this player does. Is he gonna try to get behind the main lines? He sees so many, and he gives so much credit just to the eagle eye vision across the map. There's really, the, long gone are the days as a camo, you just don't get spotted anymore as you're walking right near somebody. Damn faster frame rates, <laughs> how could you? You know? High quality monitors, faster know, right? frame rates, just everything there. Oh, but we need to have quality now. Huh. <laughs> 
Yeah, but that, like the camo eye days, you know, like I, I did. I, I used to love those days when you would see the. the I would. The, I used to basically put my nose on the screen, squint just to make sure I could see somebody. I'm like, I see it. I'm gonna try to light him up. Oh well, lethal seeing himself get a double. Might even find himself a triple, but that's gonna fade away real quickly. But lethal, excellent job. Now. Something to keep in mind, though, as we take a gander at the bottom of the screen, 25, 26 to 15. Even though we're seeing some great plays uh, made from Shopify here and there, trying to get themselves back into this game, Sentinels have been in control and remain in control with that lead. Yeah, and that's a, this is kind of a scary lead as it's going for Sentinels. It was, it was back and forth up until then, but now with this eight kill lead here for Sentinels, Shopify actually have to get something a little bit more going there. They can no longer be content with just a trade here and there. They have to get the shock rifle. They have to get a couple spawn traps. And here comes a collapse in. Opposite side here for Shopify. They have a couple members here. Weak at long haul. I don't know how that second pick wasn't How is he still yet. alive? Lethal somehow not only stayed alive, also got a kill. Wow. Huge play by Lethal. Didn't get to see it on my screen, but also showcasing that on the stats. Lethal leading his squad 11 and 5. And that, of course, should not be unfamiliar to a lot of players, even though he's oftentimes labeled as the utility man for his team. Lethal, when he when he gets hot, it's very hard to stop this player. It seems like it's working out for him. And it's also alleviating some of the pressure from some of the more uh, you know profound slayers on the team, like Falcated and Spartan. And Lethal's just kind of running around doing what he needs to do, and they're setting it up nicely here. Look at the support that they're giving one another, never taking fights by themselves if they can. Yeah, and Lethal. Dipping out, going all the way through the tunnel. Wonder if it's getting a flank over here in Hydro. They know this action is taking place over by Triple Stacks. But Lethal Two kind of looking out of the fight there. Lethal Two getting the game. flank on the camo. So as I claim that he's out of the fight, he was big braining, 4D chessing. Always. Flanking on that camo, which was coming up. Always, always. Speaking of 4D chess, here's Ryan Oob. He's trying to find himself a target with the shock rifle playing in a very aggressive position here, and he hits the shot on Falcated. And we said that Shopify had to have some big swings here, and big swings they did have. It's now a two-kill game when it was a eight-kill lead for Sentinels. They're right back in this. They got the weapons. Now they got the pressure, though, on long hauls. What an ego challenge. I like that play, though. Looks like Ryan Noob had to have known someone else was top gold, and his only escape was fighting through and push through. Boo boo doo boo, did he? Yeah, there was a call coming in, or he heard footsteps, one or the other. But either way, that was enough to just try and like get them close, but not close enough because Sentinels had even more to their lead. A five kill lead now. One round of slaves, rebellions back in it, but they're getting pincered right now. Look at Boo boo doo boo falcated on the flank. Also, look at Lethal. Even though he only took less than one burst of damage, already backing down. You can tell by the Spartan body language whether oh. they have extra players there, how they're charging around the, the corner. He just knows that every little sliver of shield is going to be crucial in those moments. Blue squad only needs six left. And yeah, you're right. I mean, any, any little bit that he could possibly yank away from this and extract value from he's going to have to do because that's really how, how things are going to be decided here. It's going to come down to the small details because you got two kills that separate these two teams now. We're getting down to the wire, and I'm pretty sure we're going to have at the very least some power items coming up here in a little bit that these teams are going to have to fight over. I think that camo is going to be a big deal. It's already up now. And look, everyone's just kind of focusing around it. No one's been able to grab it yet. Oh, and Sparty was so weak, but mental. Wanting to try to reel it back a little bit, realizing how their lives are Sentinel's so got it. crucial right now. Looks like Sentinel's got that camo, and Ryan Noob and Mental just so worried about those stairs. Just kind of distracted in every direction. Mental now sees someone weak down there. Triple stacks. Big fight help. coming out here. Likes to double back and decides to reposition over towards C plat. Has Camel been grabbed? Still not yet. That's wild. These teams so hesitant. One kill. One kill for Sentinels. But here it is. Mental versus Lethal. Mental gets oh. the kill. But around the corner, the support is there. And it's a 50 to 48 conclusion in favor of Sentinels. And that got very close. So credit to the Rebellion for trying to bring that one back. But Sentinels pretty much were in a decent controlling position for a good chunk of that yeah, game. Yeah, I mean, the fact that they got to that larger deficit around that 15 to 25 mark, they're around, you know, I want to say it was like 8 to 10 kill deficit. That's uh, that's just kind of sealed the deal for them. They fought back as best they could, and now they have to do the unthinkable. They mm -hmm. have to get a reverse sweep here in the elimination bracket round two to keep their tournament life alive. Stick around to see if Shop 5 Rebellion can pull it off. Don't go anywhere. 
All right, everyone, we're back. Sentinels up 2-0 to zero against Shopify Rebellion. Golden Boy and Walshy here on the call, and we got some Argyle CTF. And this one's an opportunity for Shopify to really slow it down. This yeah. map is going to go the distance as we've seen historically. Very infrequently have we ever seen a team cap the, the maximum amount going into this game. But it looks like Rain off to a strong start. That's three down here for Sentinels. This is a fact. Sparty, the last one. Somehow Ryan knew back in the back base of Sentinels. I don't know how and when he got there, but there he is. And now they have to decide how and when they're pulling this flag. They want to bring yeah. it over towards pistol side, clearly. They're going to have to get these slays here. Big kill. Maybe another one. Falcate is going to go for an opportunity. Lead on oh. front. Massive shot there from Rain. Here comes the flagpole. Falcate has no other choice. You can see sparring up on top. He's waiting to see if anyone crosses uh, like through, and he's going to send that nade. So he does manage to do some damage here. But is it going to be enough? As he's waiting for another Two one to kills. come through. Two players are going to be down now. The flag continues forward, but it is going to be halted for the time being. And he doesn't get the shot off on the that player challenge. That is rough. Shopify had such a good pull there, but kind they of really fell did. at the last moment. Huge body shot, no scope there from Falcade onto Cycle. This flag's almost certainly going to return, especially when Boo Boo's getting a kill and a stick on the mental. And now this is an opportunity here for Sentinels to put some pressure. Spawns are going to be coming in from the sniper side of the map, as is protocol typically on Argyle when you push up this far. Big challenge here for Falke to try and hit the, the uh, repulsor sticky, but it doesn't work out quite well from there. It does get cleaned out, but yeah. Boo is still going to be underneath the base. Yeah, Ryan Noob's happily going to take that one-for-one one trade when you're at your base like that. You okay. will happily trade there, but two more deaths coming through on Shopify side, and like you said, Still, these members, Boo Boo and crew, putting the pressure on Shopify, and they're getting this first pull out too. This actually feels a lot like the pull that we saw Native Red do with Soul Snipe when he was underneath the base and managed to bring that flag underneath the basement into a more safer pathway to pull that attention over to him. Yeah, it feels like it's just a slightly longer route, but you no longer have the risk of somebody on that sniper elbow picking you off. But here comes Cycle and Mental putting on the defense. Can they buy enough time for their teammates to come over from behind on the pistol side to get that stop? Well, here comes the pull again now. Now you don't have much opportunity. You got to make these stops happen here and now. Lethal's going to be healthy for this. Keep peppering shots on them and deny them to be able to grab that flag. You know, the, the fearful part right here is any moment someone could slide on in, try to get that pull. Looks like they get the stops. They get the kills. That's Spartan huge also read. gets taken out. And what a back and forth here. Just as soon as one team seems like it has a far along run is going to have success, they get picked apart and a counter pull going across the map. Ooh, pass off the cycle. Cycle managed to clear it. He's going to make his way inside of the landing. He's through the room now. He's going to try and use these bounces and slides to get him across the map. But it seems like Shopify Rebellion on pace to be able to strike first here. But he's going to get stopped with a grenade. He's down. Is anyone there for the pickup? Two members alive here from Sentinels. They're not going to have enough firepower, even there if they get is. the kills here. So they're opting to worry about their near surroundings. That's first cap and a breath of fresh air there for Shopify. They're like, all right, we're in the lead. We can slow this down, play at your pace. They get to be confident in their decisions. And what a nice insta into the vent. Not sure if it did much damage. And it looks like Spartan read that one out. Didn't take too much damage from the plasma. Yeah, there was certainly, for Sentinels fans, I think, a little bit of a worry here because, you know, these Game 3 swings can sometimes be a thing. And if you're not careful, uh, a team like Rebellion, very ambitious squad, will easily take advantage of these opportunities. Yeah, all these players with all the tournament experience they have, they are, you know, foaming at the mouth for these moments. They're basically yeah. saying, you know what, give us one little step into the give series. Give us an opening. So give them the opening, and then they can, oh, here's the grapple. Knows that's coming over from behind, gets the trade out, and generally when you're at your base, when you trade out, you're happy to go one for one because that player, their life is so much more valuable. They had to traverse all the way across the map, yeah. and you can spawn in your base. You will happily trade one for one in most of those scenarios. Yeah, and you know, Ryan was about to make a really big hero play there as well in the back of the base, but uh, unfortunately for him, kind of got sussed out very quickly. So that's going to reset things for the time being. Shopify Rebellion is going to go back over to the drawing board. Same thing for Sentinels as well. They're going to try and answer back out of this, but the pressure is coming in big time. Falcated is going to get the shot right to the back of Falcated. Just like that, kills traded back and forth. No one seemingly in a position to get a pull as of now, unless we have a sneaky player that's wow. slipped on through, but looks yeah. like teams are going to hold their ground on their sides. 
use the snipe and see what openings they can create. And what a great repulse. That explosion still seemed awfully close. Yeah, but it was enough to at least keep him very healthy here in this fight. He's going to go help out his teammate who uh, uh, evidently may not need all the help because they're clearing oh. these kills. They're getting them, locking them up. One that more down. That standoff turns into all four almost down there for Shopify. Sentinel's wasting no time to grab that flag, and Boo Boo's going to be a protector. Gets the buy shot onto Cycle, and this is looking dangerous here for Shopify. This could be a tying flag cap. I think all of these pulls that they have had, you could tell that Rebellion, you know, they really just are not prepared for them whatsoever. You know, every single time that Sentinels are going to be inside of the base, it feels like they're trying to just cause disruption, and they successfully do so. Get that first cap. Look at this heads-up play, too, from Mental. He somehow slipped all the way through oh. to the Sentinel's base, but does not overcommit, doesn't just give up that free death. Instead, being a distraction, seeing if they can step for a counter pull. Doesn't end up happening as that's three down. Rain, the last one remaining here for Shopify Rebellion. He got a one for two out of that, man, which is really impressive, you know? Like, he's by himself having to defend this, and he manages to do so swimmingly. Quite impressive that we're seeing across the board, both squads giving us their all here. Tied one to one, plenty of time left on the clock. New snipes are coming up too. Ryan Noob trying to use the, gra the speed of the grapple shot to get inside of the base, but he's got someone chasing him down. It's Boo Boo Doo Boo. Ryan Noob though, doing what he usually does. Get to the back, try and protect this here. Yeah, See if trying he can try to and be stop a distraction this. and doing as much as he can, but unfortunately not able to get those shields back. And now, Shopify Rebellion playing a little bit of defense. If Sentinels are able to secure it, another killer so. They're going to be able to push across the map. Cycle getting a much needed trade out there against Valcated. That's going to stop the push here coming in for Sentinels. Yeah, it's going to slow things down just a little bit. Make them rethink how they're going to approach this. Quantum Translocator is going to be available as well. You got two players on the left side there for Shopify Rebellion, one underneath Spartan. And there goes the QT. So now you got some opportunities here for some pushes. Let's see what they try and take advantage of. Because you know Spartan's going to want to go for this yep, here. Yep, I like that play. He needs to push away from that QT spawn. Generally, most players are throwing it back in here in the vent immediately. Wouldn't be surprised to see him even just teleport again, but sometimes doing that blindly, not the greatest play. But it seems like he's just going to be more of a defensive unit here. Create a little more space from his last teleport location. There he teleports back in the top center where he's easy picking, so he just dodges out of there immediately. Very smart play there. Good use of the Quantum Translocator. Not necessarily the most, like, you know, it's not in the same caliber as the Overshield or even, you know, the active camo, but I can definitely see the QT really starting to make some clever plays, especially with players that like to get a little nerdy with it, right? They like yeah, to really Yeah, the ones that are really things. aggressive. The ones yeah. that like to go towards the back of the base exactly. and then all of a sudden they teleport back to the vent and are they going to teleport back to the back of the flag again? Exactly. Like, creating those opportunities. The ones that create a bit more space. And I think Spartan didn't push out right away with that, so uh -oh. not using it to its fullest ability, but doesn't mean it was incorrect. Valkated getting a pull here as I'm going on a ramp, but it's going to be shut down here by Cycle, the young gun. And yeah, the team was more than prepared for that. The pull came through, and they knew that they needed to stop it right away, and they were right in the correct positions to do so. Voodoo now trying to get back in there, maybe see if he can cause a disruption. And this is a difficult spot to be in. There's still a member of Sentinels in the back of their base. Yep. Does still Shopify alive. push out, get aggressive? They end up getting two picks right here. Rain needs to go flying across the map, and flying he does. He tries to go help over on the pistol side, helping get vent control. Looks like Lethal has his teammates back, but a kill traded out. Shopify still in a strong position, but as these players are dropping one by one, oh. what turned out to be a good opportunity to push is a shutdown charge, and Sentinels now on the offensive, wasting no time charging across the map. Yeah, I like that speed that they approach this with, right? They don't really, uh, like, wait it out or wait for the calls. Everyone's just going forward. As soon as those first two kills come in, the, the uh, priorities of the squad were very apparent. And this is why they're in this forward position here, trying to take out Cycle. It's going to be Boo Boo Doo Boo. Gets the help there from Lethal to back him up. Sentinels. Still putting this pressure on. Boo Boo Doo Boo being a thorn in the side of this Shopify base. Rain eventually able to shut that down. And that's just to get outside of their base. It's yep. not like they're doing that kill to, to get in a position to cap or to get in a position to grab a sniper. It's just to secure their base. And Three down. Lethal's still on the charge. Yeah, he, he like they have not 
like struggled in this push at all. They've been getting all the kills that they want. Everything's been working out for them. They're in the back of the base here, and if they stay alive, well, I think in this case here, Falcata manages to take down for a second. Very little damage. Maybe this is opportunity here, but the spawn's going to be coming from the right side of the map. No one was there to back them up, so Falcata's going to have to drift away. He needs a teammate there to back him up, which he pushes through. There's Spartan for the help, but a player's going to be popping up behind him to boot, and that is Spartan yet again trying to answer the call as Falcata goes down, but lethal as we jump perspectives to the sniper. Oh, and a sneaky play by Ryan Noob. Somehow all the way opposite side of the map. Trades oh. a kill out, but Boo Boo Doo Boo realizing that Ryan Noob is instantly going to go what for the flag. What a call out. If that snipe did not happen, that was going to be a Very dangerous bad. position there for Sentinels. Ryan Noob was certainly going to grab that flag and start to run it over towards Pistol where nobody was in position to stop it. So that snipe from Boo Boo Doo Boo cannot be overstated. Massive play there. Boo Boo Doo Boo is making so many smart decisions, but he bails out of there, and I thought he was going to be able to get away with his gun, but instead he leaves, or he doesn't leave with his life. Spartan now finds Ryan Noob. Good connection there with the help, courtesy of Falcated as well. Grab that QT in the vent, and let's see Spartan this time being a bit more aggressive with it, instantly pushing on over towards the Shopify Rebellion base. Gets a shot of damage. Probably teleporting out any second now. Yep, a little scared there, not going his way so far in that Belligan cycle. Now, does he teleport back blindly? No. Too risky to do. Instead, yeah. needs to reposition to see if he can help in a different fight. However, if he's in danger, he's going to teleport. And he tries to, but Cycle seems like he was watching both those angles. Probably ready for a teleport and also ready for anyone crossing the set across the center of the map. Also, if you're hearing any of cheering through our microphones, optic that's going to be an optic victory. 3-2 to two over phase. Ooh. Man, Optic I can't wait to go versus back and watch that. Space Station in the winners bracket finals tomorrow. That is going to be such a good game. Can't wait for that. But I'm also excited about what we're seeing here because it's going to be a draw if it keeps going out like this. No one's in a real position to be able to grab the flag. We got three seconds left on the clock. That is going to be all that's written for this first one as we are now going to go to OT. And what a crucial OT. Shopify got the better of Sentinels at the beginning of this game. However, Sentinels able to answer back and tie the game up. Let's see how they're going to decide to play this one. Last time they played it quick. Last time they got behind enemy lines quickly. Does Ryan Noob decide to reel back a little bit? Mental getting a pick on to Boo Boo. That's a huge, huge opening. Looks like Mental is going to take a side flank route here. And those are the kills. They have three kills. Lethal the only one alive, Golden Boy. Man, you know, I have to say, Mental Snipe is just out of this world. He is really coming to his own as a Snipe player for the squad and has helped him out so much. Because you know that when you see him pick up that weapon, he's at least going to get a body shot out of this. And bear in mind, too, back in Gears of War, Mental was this long shot player for the team. So the Sniper in his hands, it feels like familiar territory. Familiar territory. And this flag is moving so oh! quick. They will stop rain. That's going to be... Shopify getting a much needed cap and bringing this to a game number four. Series I is did now not one. see that one coming, genuinely, because I, I thought that they were going to get the stop off, but instead they just committed, full committed through and through. So we're going to game four. That's the danger. If that flag gets moving and they got the slays at the right time, they just truck that across the map so, so that quick. That was so quick, uh, quicker than it would normally be on Argyle, which I think is even more impressive there, how they were able to just up the speed at the perfect moment. But that is going to give Shopify Rebellion a big win to continue on this series. Game four coming up next. You don't want to miss it. Welcome back, everyone, as we get ready for game number four. Shopify Rebellion, they are not going to go down without a fight. That Argyle CTF game, massive for them. Winning it, winning it in overtime. But now as we look forward here, we got some strongholds. It's live fire, and I expect this one to be very fast. Yeah, and I mean, if we're going to give some credit to, to Strongholds, I mean, Shopify was looking mighty strong in this game mode. They did take that Strongholds on Solitude yep. last event. I mean, we keep we keep talk, talking about that one win there, but regardless. It was a big uh, deal. They really strong on that. It was a really big deal. It was one of the greatest runs that any team. Oh, my. 
It was one of the greatest runs that any team could have made in Halo Infinite at that point in time from Quadrant, and it was the Ref Rebellion that stopped them, right? Yeah. And I think, if anything, it has gone to show that this team has, oh my, this team has continued to improve on their stronghold, and Sentinels knows that, and they've been taking it to them each and every time, even though Rebellion were able, like, able to get that overshield, they couldn't really do anything with it, and this is just going to be Sentinels adding a little bit more, and now we're finally going to get the flip toward A, but he got a lot of weakened players over here, two down now. Spartan, though, and are going to be in world of hurt as he's getting challenged by rain but rain's gonna back away from this fight yeah spartan just holding his ground still not challenged there instead gonna go up towards a sandbags and sentinel still putting some points on the board we did see a temp trip cap early on not very long lived but what's really gonna come down to is kills here and kills unfortunately going against shopify rebellion if you're one of their fans yeah you're gonna need three of them went down you're going to need a little bit more in the slaying power there in order to try and win this one out because you got a lot of high quality slayers on the Sentinels lineup, not to take anything away from Rebellion. That being said, though, we'll see now how they'll try and play through this. They have C control. They know exactly, for the most part, where these players are going to be because they have bodies over toward A. But with that heat wave connection, Spartan gets a double kill, and that's going to slow the tracks here for Rebellion. They know a bit where more. he's coming from. I mean, if you got that double kill, the first spot people go to with that heat wave in a close range encounter is right below those plasmas, except for that OS. Unfortunately, it looks like OS not going in favor of Shopify. Going to get a trade to kill there, but trades are not good enough here for Shopify. They need to get kills, they need to get a kill lead. Yeah, it feels like they have just lost complete control of this game. We were praising them for the way that they attack a lot of these strongholds. They have to find a rhythm, and they, right now that rhythm is not present. And there's the trip cap. How long are Sentinels going to hold it? Every single second here is so painful. Rain getting taken down. Ryan Noob, the only one alive. Looks like B is the target. Can they convert it and stop the bleeding? Yes, they do. It's important to remember, too, the strongholds is the type of game mode that can snowball. So... Even though Sentinels are up by 119 or so, if they're not careful and Rebellion managed to get a trip cap that they have been able to do in the past, they can find their way back into this game. Sentinels have to deny Rebellion that hot hand because if they start to, to if the shots start to hit, it will be very difficult to stop them. They're going for a temp trip cap, but looks like while they're going for one, Sentinels are going for B and for C. So what felt like a reasonable trade for a one for one turned out for a two for one. Now it's coming down to the kills and three down for Shopify Rebellion. Not a strong setup there for Shopify. They needed to close that gap much further and they only put on 10, 15 yeah. points on the board. Yeah, we're at the halfway point of the game here and for Sentinels, I, I think it's safe to say they're okay with going for two. They've done the work. They can continue to just keep Rebellion moving around the map and they'll just keep locking down two sites. Beautiful kill there for Spartan to keep himself alive. Gets the melee off on that player too. Stays alive with, I don't even know how he's still alive out of this one and still manages to create some opportunities for himself. Find so much time. Now we have two down here for Sentinels. Make it three, they, they know the last member's over at Nest. They need to shut down Boo Boo Doo Boo quickly and effectively. They have a trip cap, but they're letting Boo Boo roam as if he's not the only one on the map. Yeah, he's they're giving him freedom. one on one. Ryan knew backing down, almost ready to jump off the map with that sniper. Hey, he was right at the uh, the ledge there. It felt like the fugitive for a moment. Had to talk to him for a second. Don't jump, man. Don't jump, man. Don't jump. You're God. right there. <laughs> you got everything lived for. You got a sniper rifle. Everything's yeah. killed. He had you a got, trip cap. Yeah, positioning. Oh, boy. But you know what, though? Sentinels, they continue onward. There is going to be a flip on A for a moment here. Ryan Noob going to try and just leave that sniper. Oh, boy. Oh, all right. So he uses the repulse to get out of there. He made the call. It's down there. I think it was only like a few shots left in that thing. Still surprising to drop that. Maybe just feeling a bit more effective here with the heat wave and letting his teammates know he has it. Lethal looking for the angle on the player. There it goes. Trip Managed cap. Get one. Still attempt trip cap. But you, still but you okay. see the problem though, right? Yeah, yeah. When they're training those one for twos as soon as they got a trip cap. However, it was still all right since they had a couple of slays. Felt like they were going to be in position to get one of those caps converted back. But slaying has been the issue. They have been just losing all those kills at those critical times. Yeah, they have been. And 
And on top of that, whenever they think they're in a comfortable position with the trip cap, you see that pesky little meter start to change on the other side of the map because they're losing those fights across. So one of the things that Quadrant does so well is that they really do value their life in this type of game mode, and they try and put that pressure on all these different strongholds. Here, on the other hand, Rebellion, they obviously do value e each player's life to try and like make opportunities, but it's just not happening because they're not slaying. Yeah, need those slays, and I think if you have to make a correction here in the center of this game, as soon as you get those two kills, or sorry, those two caps, maybe going for that third, you just need to go for defense. Look for the counter offensive coming out of Sentinels. Yeah. They are clearly pushing for that. They're not going to defend their one stronghold. Instead, they're going on the offensive, in many, in many cases, splitting off to two different strongholds. I, I think Cycle did pick up the overshield. Could be wrong, but because it was going to be up here. They're going to try and see if they can get into this fight. But either way, though, seems like the players on C are going to be easy pickings. There goes Cycle inside of green. Position given as well. They know Cycle is over here in the green. Going to be picked that's, off. Oh, that's, that's rough. Cap. That 100 is rough. point lead. Let's see how far this extends here. Four Sentinels. They're putting the pressure on over towards Garage. They know someone's in the house and they're not stopping. Oh, my word. What nade placement there from Lethal. They cross the 200 point threshold here. Cycle's trying to capture C, lethal on the move. He knows exactly where he is. Bank nade down, does some damage, one shot maybe? No, he's actually still alive, that pesky, pesky cycle. But his teammate was there to help him out. The trip cap continues here, Dave. This is looking very bad for the Rebellion. This is so tough. They have to stop this now, and not only do they have to stop it, they have to get a dub cap, they have to go into a trip cap, they have to turn this around and win the game. And, and they're only 10 points away from losing. Last ditch effort. Tournament life at stake, 47, 48, 40. Wait a it minute. It has paused. Uh, we have yeah, two but you know what? There's a couple battles they have to win. You have so to play crucial perfect. right here. You have to play perfect, Dave. And I just don't know at the way that the game has been going if Rebellion can do that. But I would love to see it happen. They are going to be on B, though. Big fight happening. Where's the rotation coming in? They don't have a lot of time. They need to get on this site right away, and they're going to be on C, but a huge shot from Lethal. One more, oh. hits the body, and that's it. GG. Sentinels move on in the competition. Rebellion season comes to an end, but what a season it has been for them. And on the flip side to that, Sentinels stepped up and slayed when they needed to and got themselves the win. Huge props to Sentinels. Commiserations there for Shopify Rebellion. We're going to see what Sentinels can do through the rest of this tournament run. That's going to be it from me and Golden Boy here on the B stream. Don't go anywhere. We got more matches coming your way. Oh, yeah.